Once you've downloaded the installation file from the website, double-click that file to begin the installation process. Advance through that. The software is free and you're encouraged to share it freely with others. Check the box there. Generally, Windows programs are installed in the Programs folder, but Forever Words can be installed anywhere on your system. I actually recommend that you install it in your Documents folder. That will make it more convenient to add or change the images used in the program. If you don't want it in the Documents folder, just click the Browse button and select a different folder. You can create an entry in the Start menu. You can select a group that it creates that entry in, and you can also create a shortcut on the desktop. And then just click Install. I'm installing it in this folder right here. This doesn't have the option to run it on the installation completion, so just click Finish there. If you have access to that folder, this is the program file here. You would just double click that to run it. If you chose to create an icon on the desktop, you'll see that and you can double click that to run the program. The first time you run the software, take a quick look at the settings screen, this gear icon here. You can set your preferred translation from this list. And if you don't see the translation that you like in that list, I'll show you where you can add that later and then you can come back here and select it. As it says here, you're not limited to that translation. You can specify any mix of translations that you would like to use. This just, when you add a verse, it'll automatically put that in, just a little time-saving feature. The other option is you can set a voice. These are the voices for the text-to-speech option that is provided in the Windows system. So you may see different voices here. You can set the one that you prefer, and you can test it out by playing this sample text. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That he... They both sound a little robotic, but I prefer the female voice there. And then you can save your settings. This house icon will always return you to this main page. This is like the command center for the program. There are currently 85 records or entries in the software, and you can use the scroll bar to scroll down through those. Once you've selected one, you can use the up and down cursor keys. You have these arrow keys here. Go to the previous, go to the next, go to the first, go to the last. 